Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. I'll be showing you how to crochet this beaver today, which was another request. When crocheted using 8 ply, this one, the size is 15 centimetres by 8 centimetres or 6 inches by 3 inches. This medium beaver, crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton, is 10 centimetres by 5.5 centimetres or 4 inches by 2 and a quarter inches. The small beaver crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1 millimetre hook is 7.5 centimetres by 4.5 centimetres or 3 inches by 1 and 3 quarter inches. I'll be using brown 4 ply crochet cotton today. I've got a 1.5 millimetre crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in the ends, I've got scissors, I've got brown cotton and a needle to stitch the ear on and the black is to embroider on the eyes, nose and mouth, the whiskers and the markings on the tail. I'm starting just near the nose here. So I've got my brown cotton and I work three chain. For row one, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the remaining two stitches. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet, put your hook into the stitch, bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through both loops. And we need a single crochet in the next stitch. For row two, we start with one chain and turn our work and we work two single crochet into each stitch and we'll have four stitches. So two single crochet into each stitch. For row three, we start with one chain, we turn our work and work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and work three single crochet into the last stitch. And we've got seven stitches. For row four, we start with one chain and turn our work. We're going to work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. For a joined single crochet, put your hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. There are three loops on the hook. Then put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And we work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 5, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have seven stitches. So after our two single crochet into the first, work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches.
and then work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 6, start with one, one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each of our 7 stitches. For row 7, we start with 1 chain and turn and we work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work 2 single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 8 stitches. So 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 8, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch till we have two stitches left. So that's six stitches. But I've worked six single crochet. I've got two stitches left. I work one half double crochet into the next stitch. A half double crochet is called a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. And then into our last stitch we're going to work a double crochet. A double crochet is called a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through two loops. We've got two loops left, then yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through the two loops. For bow 9 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. Then work two single crochet into the last stitch. And then we work 6 chain, so we'll have 8 stitches and 6 chain. Now that's just for the body, we've finished the head now and we've just got extra chain for down the body. For bow 10 we miss the first chain and work 1 single crochet into each remaining chain. and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 13 stitches.
For bow 11, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. And then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 14 stitches. For row 12, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 14 stitches. So after our joined single crochet, Work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For bow 13, we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each of our 14 stitches. For row 14, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 13 stitches. For bow 15 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 12 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches.
and then work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For bow 16 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 12 stitches. So after our joined single crochet work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. Then work two single crochet into the last stitch. For bow 17 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 12 stitches. For bow 18 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the last, over the first two stitches. One single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 12 stitches. So I've worked my joined single crochet over the first two then I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And work two single crochet into the last stitch. For bow 19 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 13 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And work two single crochet into the last stitch. For bow 20 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 13 stitches.
row 21 we start with one chain and turn we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 14 stitches so one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work two single crochet into the last stitch for row 22 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 14 stitches For row 23 we start with one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 14 stitches. So after our joined single crochet, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch for row 24 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 14 stitches For row 25 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches, we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 13 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch till we have two stitches left. and then work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 26 we start with one chain 
and turn, we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches, work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 12 stitches. So one single crochet in each stitch till we have two left. and then work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 27 work one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 12 stitches. For row 28 we start with one chain and turn, work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches, and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 29, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And for row 30 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, then work one single crochet into each stitch till we have three stitches left. and we'll work a joined single crochet over the last three stitches. So we put the hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop, hook into the following stitch and bring through a loop, and then hook into the last stitch and bring through a loop. We've got four loops on our hook. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And then we fasten off. And that's the head and the body done. I'll just weave in those two ends. I'm going to make this my right side, but if you wanted, you could turn it over and make that your right side. So I'm going to weave in my ends at the back here, and then I'll be back and I'll join in here and just work the tail. For the tail, we join three rows down from the bottom of the back. So there's a point just in here.
and work one chain, work two single crochet in the same stitch as a chain, one single crochet into the next stitch, and a single crochet into the last stitch. For row 2 we start with one chain and turn our work. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. And work one single crochet into each of the remaining three stitches. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our five stitches. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Then a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch for the last two stitches. And work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our four stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet into each of the remaining two stitches. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet into our last stitch. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the two stitches and fasten off. And that's the tail done. I'll just weave in those ends just so they're not flapping around while I'm crocheting on this front leg. For this front leg I join my brown cotton on the wrong side on this last stitch here. So just in there and I work one chain. Into the same stitch as a chain I work one single crochet then I work one single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the following two stitches.
for row 2 I start with 1 chain and turn and I work 1 single crochet into each of the 3 stitches. For row 3 I start with 1 chain and turn I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet into the last stitch and fasten off. And that's the front leg complete. For this back leg I join my cotton on the wrong side just at this point down from the bottom of the tail. So just in there and I work two chain I work one half double crochet into the next stitch and then one single crochet into each of the following two stitches. For row two I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch and a joined double crochet over the last two stitches. For a joined double crochet I put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then I put the yarn around the hook hook into the last stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through two loops. I've got three loops left and then yarn around the hook and take my hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining loops. For row three I start with one chain and turn and work one double crochet, sorry, one single crochet into each of my three stitches. For row four I start with one chain and turn. I work one single crochet into the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and fasten off. And that's the beaver's head, body, legs and tail done. I'll just weave in those ends and I'll be back and we'll do a neatening row right around the beaver. I'm going to have my beaver facing this way but if you wanted your beaver to face this way you'd weave in your ends on the other side and work your neatening row the other way around. I'll be working single crochet and slip stitches for my neatening row. I'm going to join just at the bottom of the tail, just in there. And I'm going to work a single crochet into each stitch around the tail and along the back until I get to the head. So just find a suitable place to put your hook, not too far from the, the edge for your single crochets. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms.
I'm crocheting in the tail, I find that because I'm quite a tight crocheter, just crocheting over the top of it will hold it in place. I've never had it come apart. So I'll continue working a single crochet into each stitch till I get to the head and then I'll be back. Once I get round to the head I work one slip stitch into each stitch around to the tip of the front leg. For a slip stitch I put my hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on my hook. So a slip stitch into each stitch. I'm working a slip stitch because I don't want the head and the bottom of the body to get any thicker than it already is. A single crochet makes it just slightly thicker. Now I'm working a slip stitch in the top of the foot, then I work two chain, I work a slip stitch in the same stitch as my last slip stitch, work two, two chain, slip stitch into the next stitch, work one chain and slip stitch into that same stitch. Now I work one slip stitch into each stitch round to the tip of the back leg. And I work the tip of the back leg the same as the front leg. I work two chain and slip stitch into the same stitch as the last slip stitch. Work two chain 
and slip stitch into the next stitch. And then work one chain and slip stitch into that same stitch. And then work one slip stitch into each stitch till I get to the tail. and fasten off. And that's the beaver done. We've just got her closure the ear now. So I make a magic loop. There are a lot of ways to make a magic loop, but I like to put my hook on my cotton and bring the short end over the hook and then take the long end over the short end to make a circle then put the yarn around my hook and bring my hook with the yarn through the circle and that's my magic loop then into my circle I work one chain one single crochet one half double crochet one double crochet, one half double crochet, and one single crochet. And then I pull my circle tight, so I take hold of the tail and just ease the circle in and fasten off. And that's the ear complete. Now I'll just weave in those ends and then I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now I've got my beaver and the ear. The first things I'll do is attach the ear. It goes just towards the back of the head, right near the top about there. And I'll embroider on those markings on the tail. I just crisscross them across I only use one strand of cotton for the tail. Now the next thing I'll do is embroider on the eye. I'll use two strands of black cotton and then I'll use the ends of the cotton, one strand each, for these whiskers. I don't embroider them on, I just attach them to the back and bring them through and then I just stitch over the end just so they'll hang down. The last things I'll do is embroider on these claw markings to the front and back legs and I'll embroider on a nose and mouth with two strands of black cotton and then the whiskers will be with one strand of cotton each left over from the nose and the mouth. I do have my patterns on my website with close-ups of the embroidery if you'd like to look there. So I'll finish this off and then I'll be back to show you the finished beaver. And there's the finished beaver. If you've liked my video please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.